come with me as I embark on a work day in my life, but not as me, as my boyfriend. Because I'm going to work with him as if I am a little child going to work with their parent. In middle school, when you used to go bring your kid to work day. Yeah, that place was called Guevara's and I think they're gonna be $100 for a bagel because Jordan and I forgot to get bagels on Staten at my usual used to commute bagel store. But I was so tired this morning, guys, that it didn't, it didn't really happen. So I'm gonna look for like a real normal deli in Williamsburg, which is gonna be like uh, finding a fucking needle in a haystack. So I'm in Jordan's office. I feel like it's bring your kid to work day. I just went to the bathroom and I'm reminded of when I worked in offices, how like low tier offices always were. They're not like great to be in, which is why everyone's like fighting to still work from home and I don't blame them because just better man. Here he comes, big man. Jordan needs the bathroom and then we're gonna go. Okay. I found a normal deli, thank God. Ugh because everything over here is like so hipster. And like, guys, this vlog, don't think that I'm gonna complain in this vlog. Like I do, I like Williamsburg, I think it's cool, but it's not like the Williamsburg that we all kind of grew up in. My mouth, ew, my mouth, sorry guys, this is TMI. My mouth tastes gross because I didn't eat anything yet and I brushed my teeth and then you sit in traffic for so long and you don't eat anything if you don't eat and then like, a while goes by. We were in traffic for a long time. Now your mouth's dry and you feel like you have like stinky breath. But if I chew gum right now, I'll get really nauseous because I didn't eat anything yet. Now it's nice because there's really nobody here because the office is in the basement. But I did find a water filler upper. They have like a little filter toggle even though New York water's fine but I don't know if I if this has been deep cleaned in a while for me to want to drink out of the faucet so I moved myself out here in front of I guess another sort of building another all of these offices are different it's like all startups and all businesses and all like small businesses and stuff this looks like a beauty lounge right behind me which is really cute there's literally nobody in here I think but Jordan and the two people working with him right now. I'm sure maybe you'll meet them in the vlog. I think we're gonna later on go out and try to work somewhere else or maybe like a bigger conference room where we could all sit because it obviously got a bit cramped in there. But I have a lot of emails to answer actually. So I'm gonna like work while I'm at Jordan's work. And this makes more sense to me right now. Oh my God, this chair is really low. <laughs> all my things I like signed a contract I did I, I did a lot the only people like I said or like I was going to say that are coming like in and around are the people that like work in the building and I've seen them a few times because they're like cleaning up and doing stuff guys I'm sitting in the kitchen that apparently nobody uses and literally 15 minutes ago I, I kept like Whenever I would like go over there to get like paper towel or something, I kept like smelling like a hot smell and I was like something's like fucking burning. There's like a pancake maker and it's been on probably all day so I unplugged it. I was like not a soul is here. There is no pancakes inside. Like why is this on? That's like such a hazard. So whoever's gonna make pancakes soon, sorry. No you're not.
to the office to work and lucky for me I don't work for them so <laughs> I'm just walking by the pier now. It's kind of taking in the sun before we have to sit in the car later. I don't think I even told you guys yet. Jordan and I are going to Connecticut today, which is really why I'm with him at work because he wasn't gonna drive back home to pick me up to go to Connecticut after work. It just doesn't make sense. So we could just kind of cut through Queens, Bronx, and then go all the way upstate to Connecticut. A few more hours, I don't know. I think right now it's like three o'clock. We'll probably get going but there's a Trader Joe's over here. Before I go to Trader Joe's, cause I need to get snacks for the car for our ride and I'm gonna vlog like the whole thing there, but separate vlog, separate whatever. I had a good day so far. I'm always in the right place at the right time for free stuff. So some reps from Zen Water gave me some free water and it's ice cold and I'm excited. I'm gonna save that for the car cause I have like normal water. I'm just like hot girl tote baddie, baddie, baddie backing it up. And I feel like I should go to Trader Joe's now. I also left my sunglasses in the car, so I really can't see shit. I should get some snacks and like maybe pack the cars, park like right over here. I should have taken Jordan's keys though before he went back inside. Oh, actually I could maybe go through the back door. Maybe I could just make him meet me at the back door. And go to Trader Joe's. Oh my God, I'm gonna face my Trader Joe's fear going in there alone. <gasps> I never went to Trader Joe's. I ended up coming back here and sitting in like a totally different part of the office while Jordan did Jordan things. But I just came and grabbed him because it's the end of the day. So I'm actually gonna end up going to Trader Joe's with him. So end of the day, how did I do as my first day as in as a shadow? I think you did a really great job. I did amazing. She did a great job. That was a fun work day in my life following shadowing my boyfriend's work. Just commuted home. This technically took a little longer than home. We're on our way to Connecticut, like I said. It took us about an hour or so to get out of Queens. If you wanna stay tuned for like our fun camping glamping vlogs, make sure you're subscribed. And without any further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.